Hi guys, Steve here. And this is a quick video on how to add mods to Arc Survival Ascended by way of an Arc Server Creation Tool, which is the easiest tool to use to set your ASA servers up. That's what I've used and you can find out the video how to do it here, plus I'll link it at the end. So if this video is helpful for you, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. Setting up mods is really easy, but finding the mod code now isn't. Wildcard used to put the event mod codes on their community crunch posts, but it seemed to not give a crap anymore as I stopped doing it, because that would be far too easy. The mod code is not in the mod section of ASA, so don't bother looking there. And it's not on the ARC News website. So your best options to find the event code are, ask on Steam and hopefully some nice person will get back to you with it. Thank you very much, mate. Join the ARC Discord and look for it there. Search your Steam forums for everyone else who can't find the event code. But the best bet, if you remember, is to go to the cursedforge.com website, ARC's official mod support partner. And it's the mod's project ID number on the right, which is the event's mod code. And you can confirm that by clicking on the Pages tab. That takes you to the mod info page, then again on the right hand side you've got project ID and there is the events mod code and you'll do the same to find any other mods as well. Copy or write that number down as now we go to the ARC server creation tool program. All the servers are shut down, click on the first server then go to view server in the bottom right, you'll get a pop up, then click server configuration in the top right, you'll get the server info come up then in the middle bottom, you find your mod section. Type in or copy and paste your mod code. That's the current event. Click add mod and it's easy as that. Now for an example, I'm just gonna get some more mod codes. There's my previous event list. I wouldn't suggest adding more than one event code. I've got no idea what that would do. Well, let's say you have a list of mods. You copy the mod code you want, paste it into the mod box, click add mod, and there you go, you've added another mod to your server. I just had a third one. You don't need the minus mods equals anymore. That was a very old version. Add mod, and there we go, we've added three mods now. I don't want three events running all at once. So click on a mod from a list, then click the trash icon. That's the only mod I want running. Then click save and close all the windows. Next, click on your second server. Again, click View Server. You'll get a pop-up. Click Server Configuration. Then at the bottom, paste your mod code. Click Add Mod. Then Save and close the windows down. Then I'll go to my third server. Click View Server. Click Server Configuration. Paste the code again. Add the mod. Save. And there you go, we've added the mod to all the servers. Now we need to update them. Click on the first server, click Open Updater in the top right. I've selected the first server. Click Update Game Files, and it will download the latest version of a game, plus it'll install the mod you just put in. It might take a while if it's a big patch, so I'll skip forward. The window will automatically close down when it's done. Now click the second server, click Update Game Files. It'll update those server files again, and then you'll just repeat a process for the third server. Third server's just finishing. It closed down automatically. There we go. Now close that window down. You've added the mod, the servers are all updated. So click start all to start all your servers up. It'll take a short time for those to start. And once it's done, you can log into Arc, go to a workbench, and you'll find that you now can craft all the event items in your workbench if everything's working okay. Don't forget I'll put the ARC server creation tool link in the description box below and check out my previous video on how to install everything. And if you want to run your own virtual private server, then install all your ARC servers onto it. There's a discount link in the description box below. And that's how you install mods. 
Please like, subscribe and share. Click the bell notifications and all to get notified when I upload next. I'll put the links to everything in the description box below and to Ragon's server creation tool page. Thanks to him for making it. And I hope everything goes well for you and your server. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos at the end. Goodbye.